it's no secret that War Thunder's grind is pretty atrocious. Not only are there thousands of vehicles for you to research, but research requirements increase exponentially the more you progress. I've been playing War Thunder on a regular basis for around 6 years now, and I've only totally researched a few tech trees. It feels like a topic I should have covered a long time ago, since it's one of the biggest issues that War Thunder has, even if it isn't as game ruining as some of the others I talk about. Before I jump into the video properly, I'm going to take a second to talk about my sponsor. I worked with Apex Gain to make a line of pre-built gaming PCs, so if you're looking to upgrade, it might be worth checking out. Link is in the description and comments. You can use my username as a discount code on checkout. Now let's get back into it. Some people don't see the grind as a problem, and they're partially correct. Grinds aren't inherently bad. In fact, they're a major part of pretty much every game's progression system. If you started an RPG like Skyrim and immediately got access to all the best equipment and abilities, the game would get very boring very quickly. For War Thunder, the grind is even more important, since it's a major tool for driving revenue. The largest tool Gaijin has, in fact. To make the grind bearable, players are incentivized to buy premium time, premium vehicles, convert research points, and buy vehicle modifications. So the grind is always going to exist in some form, otherwise War Thunder wouldn't be a profitable game. However, some things can be changed to make the grind more bearable overall. That's basically what we're going to be doing, looking at why specific areas are a problem and how they can be changed. First, and this is something a lot of other people have talked about, every recent War Thunder advertisement shows modern vehicles exclusively. You know, the high-performance jets and main battle tanks. They're mostly cinematic, showing very little in terms of actual gameplay. As a new player, you might see this and think, oh boy, I can't wait to play my Abrams or T-80. Then you actually download the game and you're met with interwar tanks. Instead of the T-80, you get the BT-5. And little do you know, it's going to take you possibly years to get it for free. It's pretty misleading, and I reckon it's actually led to some people just uninstalling the game after a while. It would be pretty easy to simply say reduce research requirements and call it a day. While I do think that's a good idea overall, I do have something else in mind. I think it would be fairly neat if players could earn test drives for top tier tanks, in very much the same way content creators do. Instead of using war bonds to get a low tier premium vehicle, you could use them to redeem a test drive for an Abrams which lasts a couple days. That way, new players that want modern tanks can experience them, and will probably be more motivated to earn them permanently. Maybe it could even be a part of the Battle Pass system, where instead of earning universal backups, you earn a universal test drive for a vehicle of your choosing. Another issue is that you can only really grind one tree at a time. Trying to grind multiple trees simultaneously is inefficient, and if you buy a premium tank for one tree, you can't use it to grind another. To make things a bit easier, premium vehicles could accrue special research points that go into a pool, Sort of like the convertible RP system, except they can be spent freely. Obviously this new type of RP couldn't be earned one to one with actual RP. I think one point for every six actual research points would be fair. I don't think this would impact the sale of premiums too much, since a lot of people who buy premiums do so simply because they like the vehicle. Using this RP pool also wouldn't be nearly as efficient as buying a premium vehicle for the tree you want to grind. Personally, I would also get rid of tier efficiency limits for premium vehicles. If people could earn a decent amount of RP whatever tier they feel like playing, they probably wouldn't hate the grind so much. As mentioned earlier, vehicle modifications also play a large part in War Thunder's grind. While it isn't usually hard to research these modifications, towards top tier, research requirements start to become a bit insane. When essential mods like Thermal Sights or FPE aren't usable right away, it makes the game incredibly frustrating. For Thermal Sights, tanks should start out with a low resolution version. That way they aren't totally useless in night battles. By researching the modification, the site would be upgraded to the next generation. Stock tanks should also start out with one charge of FPE per match only getting two charges once they research the mod. While all of this is great to think about, I doubt Gaijin will change anything relating to the grind. Changes to RP requirements sometimes happen, but they're usually accompanied by decreased RP modifiers, so we just end up back where we started. There are some things you can do to make it a bit easier though. If you want to get to top tier quickly, I would recommend choosing one of those smaller tech trees. Japan is usually the best choice. Their tanks are pretty solid at most BRs, so the grind is generally fun. I would also recommend keeping your lineups relatively small, only researching and buying the vehicles that you need. That'll save you a bit of time and money. It's also a pretty good idea to identify a solid mid-tier vehicle and buy a talisman for it. It's cheaper than buying a premium vehicle. Anyway, that's about all I have to say for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.